Only one part of this matters to me. Welcome to Rogue Ops. But I remember how it started. Yep, this is Rogue Ops. It's a. Uh, it almost drove me insane. It's a stealth game Istanbul. released in uh, Every time I close 2000... my eyes, I'm back there. Four or five, I don't know. Oh God. Uh, it just starts like this. Yep. Nothing but a need to know no, like, why my intro sequence. No nothing. Nope. Looking for just hey, by the way, a hey, by the way, uh, and at its War Widow. Jacobs. There you go. I couldn't believe Holy the shit, man he you could just feel the pet pathos ripping <laughs> off this. <laughs> oh, eyes only. Guys, government. don't put your tongue or your, your face on that <laughs> paper. Eyes only. Want. Jacobson wanted me to work for him, to join Phoenix and use my military training to Okay, work okay, okay. This terrorist. isn't how exposition works. I, I don't understand anything family. you're saying. <laughs> oh my god, I love that target. It's like one of the developers just <laughs> posed with two guns, like, now, yeah! Oh, wait, oh, yeah. was he holding. Was he holding a burrito in his other hand? <laughs> I find out <laughs> Watch out, this burrito's loaded with enchilada. Your final training the Rogue Ops solid. version of the whatever the hell corporation we're working, uh, working for <laughs> has a bit of a sense of humor. I like that he had, like she, like she, they're trying to do like some kind of lip sync with this, but her hair is just like a helmet. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I'd like you to meet. This is Jonah. He's been with Phoenix from the start, and he'll be good. Oh, those eyes! Those <laughs> eyes! His forehead looks like a piece of jerky. Uh, it's like someone pushed him in. Ah! The earpiece and mic allow us to talk. Excuse me, does this come into a color that doesn't suck? <laughs> Just step through the door, and we'll begin your final training. Uh, you didn't answer my question. I'm almost okay. expecting like bubbles to pop up at Word some is, point. She's good, but the finest yet. She has the potential to be the best. But a rebellious attitude could get her What killed. rebellious By attitude? She's never even uh, shown anything that like that. She does everything you say. Right, girl, let's see what you got. But she is good. Did you see all them shots on that man's ball sack? <laughs> Alright, first things first, Nikki. I need to calibrate your comms equipment. What are you looking, looking at, at whoever you are? are? Good. Now look up to know. the red cross above you. <laughs> Prepare for airdrop, folks. Get her in the head with a med kit. So, yeah, it's a pretty standard tutorial. Uh, I would usually cut this out, except there's actually a bit of story that happens in the tutorial, so... Oh, for a second there, I thought you were going to tell me that this game just has her suddenly start dancing on her head through the whole level. <laughs> now, <laughs> no. it, what... What... Uh, can you actually well, explain... Well, considering to... the, the pedigree with the last game you played, I was expecting this one to just vomit bad graphics at us. <laughs> it did! It just... It's just, like, not necessarily bad graphics, just really bad character Hold on, oh, wait face. a minute, hold on. When she jumped over that, did it actually, like, cut the jump out and just went from crouch <laughs> to climbing up? Uh, this game has some pretty... pretty bad animations, yeah. Oh, also, I what thought is it with was... Aha, uh -huh. uh, I get it. Uh, assessment zone. Assessment. I, I I don't think that's what they were going for, but all right. I think it was with the whole eyeball thing. Yeah, you you put your <laughs> and what you're right putting here. up against the eyeball. They're, they're assessing you. We're Nothing. always watching, always assessing. Oh oh, we can jump up and climb up, but we can't climb over a box. What what is this? Do you guys hear no. that box moving uh, sound effect? Yeah, it's kind of grating, uh, isn't uh, it? Uh, uh. <laughs> like talking at you. I I'm liking our little chalk drawing of a mini map over there. <laughs> oh, so I drew it myself. Mulrooney did. I love oh Mulrooney storage. I love that the organized bit is in qu is in quotes. Like it won't actually be organized. We actually do a terrible job. <laughs> yeah, I I actually kind of like this uh, tutorial section. If for nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I was just using my cash power grappling hook. Huh? My gadget As I am trained for stealthy anti terrorist. I huh? keep it in my hip bone. That's impressive stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> guys, I really feel like I'm in the Middle East with all this uh, background music to help. Wait, I thought we the were moment. in like the States to train all this up. Yeah, no. uh. I, I was gonna say that this tutorial is basically a mishmash of different environments an operative might find themselves in, and that's kind of cool. Kind of a nice little detail. Okay. But, yeah. S since 
since they just sort of dumped plot on us in that initial cutscene, what the fuck was she talking about? Like, any of that? It, it just all came in one gigantic bit of word vomit, and I have no idea what any of it meant. Okay. Bad ha thing happened to good people. She people, my friend, must get revenge, friend. Work for government, get revenge. Get revenge? <laughs> Of revenge <laughs> and revenge. Okay, um, that that's technically correct, but um, yeah, basically Nikki Connors is an ex Green Beret or something. Her husband Did and daughter were killed by a terrorist organization known as Omega Nineteen. Uh, she then joins an anti-terrorism task force called Phoenix uh, to hunt them down. Do, do I have? Is there like required reading in order to play this game? Uh, no, it's it's all right there in the intro. Uh -huh. So basically, we just we are sh we are Lady Knockoff Solid Snake. Uh, no, Solid Snake cannot we show off his Soliton radar. Yeah. So, Solid Snake had had no had like no Why real is she motivation the files? <laughs> beyond patriotism. Or no, really, he didn't. It, it had all sorts of motivation. He, uh, also didn't, have he didn't have he didn't have a revenge motivation. Patriotism. He didn't have a revenge motivation. Well, I guess he had a couple. Anyway, so uh, they give us special glasses that allow us to see, like, electrical conduits running in walls and stuff, and shows us that oh. the control panel's behind that painting. That uh, just moves uh. aside. I like that the, uh, vase is dancing a little jig. Mm-hmm. If your enemies don't know you're there, they can't attack you. Sound advice. <laughs> if things cannot detect you, then they cannot hit you. <laughs> That's true. Oh, man. Look, look, look at this great lighting engine. Yep. You're in shadow. Yep. So, uh, that. It, you're sure. You're it, sure this isn't stolen too. <laughs> I fucking wish it was stolen too. I really do. Stealth is your greatest but, uh, weapon. I don't know if that's like a vote of. To a less subtle approach. Confidence or something else. That's not how a silencer and a gun works. You didn't even shoot it in the balls. <laughs> what, well, I expect everything to be shot in the balls based on that intro. No, she, he shot it in the balls. He shot it in the ball bearings. <laughs> I, you get off this time, Nikki. Or, since it was on a mounted to the wall, she shot it in the ball joist. Now, who made this developer? I have no fucking clue. Once you hit, I'll send it up. Oh. oh. Uh, um, I, I I think it's Kemco. If yeah, I it was correctly. Kemco. I just yep. I, I, whoa, what? Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't the same developer what? as Tomb Raider, because honestly, like we're just I I, I I I hate to be the one to have to point uh, point this out, but our character is essentially the Lara Croft of butt. Yeah. Also, um, her head appears to be able to swing around at least <laughs> over a hundred. And degrees, also, and is. also, the kid from The Exorcist. The, the the rotation when you're when you're hanging from a ceiling is just odd. Like that's all there is to it. It's like you're actually attached to the ceiling by your head. <laughs> what? So Hell, he I didn't find us, so so he left. Wait a minute, hold up. If she is the kid from The Exorcist, she was hanging on like on the top. Yep. Oh, okay, so we're gonna learn about melee takedowns here. This is very important. Close combat is We're never going to use this again, are we? Now approach the operative and kill him. Wait, hold on. Th this is just a dummy, right? No. Like we're not actually no, practicing no. on real people. Uh-oh. No. This is an actual <laughs> guy, an, an actual employee. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah. I got a quarter circle punch, this one. <laughs> yeah. So this game uh, has a lot of quick time events and stuff like that. Uh, and they really don't give you a whole lot of leeway, even in the tutorial, to get this done. What? Yeah, we, just, we just broke an employee's leg. Was it really necessary to kill him, Jonah? Yeah. Wait, does she have an imprint of her glasses on her face? Okay, so, Phoenix villain. Phoenix is villain. 
supposed to be there's a good guy. Just because we killed that one know. guy, he he took too many snacks from the employee lounge, and uh, I think we needed to kill him. <laughs> yeah, I, I love how he kind of flows up onto our back like jelly. Like I, 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 like. Like every other stealth game where you're playing a government agent, they'll have you knock someone out or something. No, here they just you have have you flat out murder a man. And they don't and they, and they don't even try to hide it either. Okay, like you know, like it's actually in 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 that cutscene right there. Was it really mm -hmm. necessary to uh, to kill him? Oh, we didn't have the resources, but we didn't want to fire him <laughs> for some. Reason. Yeah, just Wait, there's no such thing as pink pink slips in Phoenix. <laughs> I guess not. Or, oh no, there are pink slips, it's just, they didn't start out as pink. <laughs> now they're all blood red, is that what you're saying? Blood is more of a pale rose. Ugh, anyway. Is she ready for the field? She's still alive, ain't she? You saw me pass a test, dummy! <laughs> you saw me got smashed in the face! The terrorists are gonna give me a second shot! This place is like a kindergarten. Just remember what I told you. Oh, yes, kindergarten. We murdered a man on our first day. <laughs> this is not, not what you guys did when we when you went into kindergarten, but. Master! Wait, no, you're just learning. With us when you're in the field. Cody's job is. <laughs> in and out. I tore between those eyes and that forehead. But it's it's the same on all of them. Their eyes are just soulless. <laughs> no, their eyes yeah. are kind of like trying to leave. The, ah, Spain. This in this game is the, is like the physical damn, manifestation I knew it was be the Soviets. of the uncanny valley. <laughs> Except her, actually. You ever take off them glasses, and why do they turn blue? Oh, it's better to the thing of a jig. It's o it's okay, whoever you are. You're, you can move your neck. I don't think you can. You, you can. you don't have to move your shoulders with your head at all times. You, you can swivel. You know. Look, I can only get reception if I have my head like this. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. I just noticed something about that painting. That picture of that uh, leader of Omega-19. Is he Dracula? <laughs> no. Oh my god, we might actually be fighting Russian Dracula. We're not fighting Russian Dracula. Infiltrate Van Cleef Villa. Van Cleef. That's just that another that name, name for Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. What's We're going to the Black right? House? Yep. La Casa Negra. That's right. Will there be a mama of any kind in there? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like the White House, but they just took the burn mark. <laughs> Why do we have Shuriken? What the hell? Relax, Jonah. I don't Once know. I this book, then what? The because... Point. Okay, don't you don't need to explain what a shuriken is. Oh, God. I, I think they do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure radios aren't usually that bad. Yep, let, let's get a good look at that. Mm-hmm. I love that this is supposed to be, like, I'm in. quiet, except everyone and anyone would hear the fucking helicopter. No, they're too busy, busy Please, doing whatever this is. Cleef, I'm sorry! Don't kill me! I I can still be of use to you. Oh, don't no, no, don't do not expect me to hate I'm this right. hate this villain just because he kills a guy who <laughs> says who, who says who says I can still be of use to you when we just murdered a man because he failed the training mission. Not here, not like this. Time to die. Is he wearing a shirt or what? What's going on here? Raining and dump this pendejo. Well, yep. Just one Spanish word, we can sell Here. it. Mm -hmm. Agent inside Van Cleef's organization. We just lost him. Van Cleef is not a very Spanish name. Could risk the entire operation. Good to know you. God, those your facial agent. expressions are terrible. Yes. <laughs> your mission objectives, Nicola. I am very at, sad and angered by my loss of my agent within this bad man organization. All right, so gameplay proper. Let's equip our shuriken. Place your first bomb on the car. If you look carefully, you'll see where to plant it. Wait, how? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold. So the shuriken hit the switch in the guy's head to make him <laughs> use his spring boots, right? I, you don't throw them the right way. You just, you know, throw them vertically and they'll go. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> yep, right. Just right there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't think of that as a butt. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> those, that's a, those are two Rubik's cubes she shoved into the back pockets. Those are not butts. That's where she keeps her equipment. That's where the shirt uh, is. Uh, that explains that it's pretty much just a lump. <laughs> <laughs> it's got just got two tumors on the back of her legs. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh of course, the sniper rifle just knocks him him down. Like maybe. Oh, I guess I need to take a nap now. Yeah. So the, uh, they mentioned the shuriken in, just knocks him <laughs> on his ass. Yes. Yeah, uh, so they sort of mentioned it in the tutorial that you can't ever expect to find ammo in the field. Uh, as They're far lying. as I know, that's not true. You can always expect to find ammo in the field if you search the bodies. So what do they load their guns with, then? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, now now the, the silenced pistol here is the best weapon in the game. Uh, you can basically fire across the map like a sniper rifle, and, uh... It's, it's this pretty powerful. <laughs> I love that death sound! He just comes out, gets shot, OI! <laughs> Now, Oi, not funny. <laughs> you set off my spring nether. boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, out of curiosity, mm -hmm. um, when we're fighting, when we're doing all these like little alert phases, do they automatically know where you are, or no? Uh, it it sort of depends, but uh, no, for the like, most say part, you they're have not. That whole shadow thing, where if you shoot someone and you go into alert, like, do they immediately know where it came from? Uh, no. I don't think so. Then again, there's not a whole lot of shadow in this game, despite the tutorial. Let's place more C4 there. Yes, that vent is a critical structural component. <laughs> so we're just blowing up this dude's house. Uh, yeah, the, the basic plan is to set off three C4 charges to get Van Cleef to panic, run to his little black book where he details all of his boss's terrorist activities so we can then kill Why Van Cleef and that? steal the book. Uh, he has it as insurance against his bosses. That actually makes sense. Yeah. It's a halfway decent setup. Yeah, it's, it's a plot. It's a plot. They mm -hmm. Honestly, at this point when they say, hey, some man is, some girl is killing all of our dudes. I told my bosses that would not work this time. They're not listening. Therefore, she is from government. <laughs> Flee, Batman! What, why is why is everyone this horrible? <laughs> why does it, nobody have regular doors? Why is it all bzz, bzz, doors? <laughs> I like that they're like advanced sliding doors, but they are actually like made out of plywood. I just I actually just realized something, Chitlin. If, uh, aside from Gr Grimrock, almost every game you've LP, you've LP'd is pretty much a Bond film. Uh, at least at the end, all of them. Yeah, I remember the part Blades where uh, time. James Bond went up against uh, Cthulhu. No, no, no. Yeah, I, was, I, 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 I will never defend Blades of Time, but it did not turn into a Bond plot at the end. I can tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, he's got more bodies. Whatever. Oh, this is my actually, no, actually, no. That's just two dudes going that's through their exercise regimen. <laughs> they fell asleep. <laughs> And no Van Cleef? Yeah, it's calisthenics. Now, Cody? He's yeah. study upstairs. So now we have... Wait, hold on. How do we know that? Uh, I don't know. Apparently they have surveillance of some kind. But whatever. We have two minutes to get to Van Cleef's that... office. What did they need the dude who got shot in the beginning for? I'm not sure what his purpose was. Wait. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was just to show Mom. Van Cleef's a bad guy who will kill people. Was that auto-aim? Sort of. The game sort of has auto-aim, and it's it's both really generous and really finicky at the same time. Uh, it's it's almost it's really generous in the sense that it locks onto dudes, but it's also very finicky in the sense that it does so thinking you aren't putting in any kind of input. Yeah, like like actually trying to trying to aim the auto aim will cause it to go wild. Uh, it, it sort of has snap aiming, like when you ready your weapon, but it it's more or less all right. By the way, we had a manual trigger on all your C4, so that whole time aim limit business <laughs> was just a mess with you. Yeah. Why'd you blow up his car? For your own sake. That didn't have anything to do with the house. <laughs> we needed a way to keep him from fleeing, you know, which is why we went to his study. Day after. <sighs> day after. I know why you yeah, but you're not gonna get it. Nick, you're not good at sneaking. I'm just 
I'm just I love that, that if she's supposed to be some kind of crazy Target super smart moving. dude. Uh, oh, you're also, you, oh, you're on a call. Okay, okay, we'll just leave you alone and shoot you later. It's 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 okay. It's okay. We've got time. We've got time. Cody, I can't no, Skype I'm right now. <laughs> like, I'm just curious about this. Like, what is he? Why? If she's supposed to be some sort of super side, why in God's name would she just like let him know she was there by just staring around the revenge? I I don't think Van Cleef had anything to do with the murder. Of his fam, of, of her family, is just. Is this one of those deals where the government tells her that? Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, yeah. Basically, the government we killed your her. family. We are run by Batman. <laughs> in fact, your husband and daughter were high operatives in Batman <laughs> organization. <laughs> not, not everyone's a member of Batman. It, that doesn't happen. <laughs> this game would be so much better if it was, though. <laughs> This game would be so much better if... Insert. If everyone was a member of Batman, even <laughs> you, you just don't know it yet. What is Batman? There's nothing happening on screen. Bat I'm gonna ask that now. What is Batman? <laughs> it, 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 Batman it's, it's a generic is evil organization of any story. They oh, okay. also exer exercise equal rights opportunities. <laughs> there is also what bad the women. What the fuck? His eyes and hair loaded before the rest of him yeah. did. Yeah. <laughs> but his eyes great. were closed, so it just looked like these two, like, tightly pressed white lips. <laughs> and then hair. <laughs> I told you, everyone is a member of Batman! No, stop it! Okay. Why do you think he looked so sinister for that split <laughs> second? He didn't look sinister, he looked like the Invisible Man at a stroke! <laughs> <laughs> and what was the Invisible Man in the story he was in? How about right, the villain! How, how would you know the Invisible Man had a stroke? That's just... That, that just defies well, it was everything. the part where his tie just kind of starts flopping all over the place. <laughs> Alright, so uh, Van Cleef's on the run through his You're cellar right now. And uh, we have to chase him down, but he's going to lock doors behind him, of course. Now... Uh, Strange thing is, like, we can't kill him until we know he has the book. Otherwise, you know, I guess we're not going to have time to go look for it. Yep. Well, we won't know right, where to look right in this, uh... uh you oh, we're reenacting the first... Uh, we're reenacting the first cutscene. Mm-hmm. Oh, watch out for those lasers. What do lasers do? I better pull out my cigarettes. They, <laughs> they, they activate a that turret up on the ceiling there. Oh, okay. I love that that turret has no, like, actual targeting ability. It just needs to know what the lasers... Wrong, slut. I'm... Whoa! Yeah. Okay! Well, I like the way he says that. It's like, wrong, slut, I brought you to die. It's like, he says it like she was, like, brought up to him. I, like, yeah. boss, I got you that... <laughs> I got you that uh, prostitute you were looking for. <laughs> wrong, slut! <laughs> Yeah. Uh, honestly, I, I was thinking Wait, of it more. Just it's went, just like that. It just, just went straight through her chest. What the hell? Yep. Rogue ops. I, honestly, I, I thought the voice acting there was a little bit more like the voice actor was just like he didn't really want to say the line. <laughs> he was just like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so here's a new gameplay challenge. Well, ah. Down here with the Rex, yeah. Oh, we're oh we've upgraded to assassin. Huh, we must have uh, <laughs> impressed him. With yeah, that. yeah, yeah. It goes from Hold slut to assassin. That's right. That's, that's how the Great. progression works. Great. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I can uh, see this game has a wonderful opinion of women. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. This this game's pretty shameful. All around. Yeah, honestly, this is pretty fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but at least we get to shoot dudes in the balls with our auto aim. That's, that's why. That's like the that's like the worst place you can shoot a guy, and not even in the sense that it I, will hurt him. It's in the fact that it will do no damage. No, so, it's to ensure they'll have no bad men children. <laughs> <laughs> We're not bringing back bad men. <laughs> there is a no. no. <laughs> Oh, wait, so, wait, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 there are mines all Wait, all hold on, that explosion healed you? <laughs> okay, so, uh, so we've been picking up first aid kits all throughout this mission. Rations. Yeah, and, uh, like, 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 unlike the Metal Gear Solid rations, you don't actually have to have, uh, your first aid kits equipped 
if you just have one, it automatically heals you when you die. So, so that's what's in the butts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When she, it's like when her spring boots activate, she falls back down, hits her butt on the ground, and breaks open the med kit, and it heals her. And it breaks again, open the med kit and it just unleashes healing order. particles. Go straight ahead. <laughs> yes, but the thing is, because this is Rogue Ops, it edits all that out, so you're just still standing. The only way you know it happened is that your uh, health bar went back up. Alright, you guys ready for a boss fight? No. Oh, because we got we because we used one of our med kits, uh, he's now mad at us again. Oh, oh man. He is unimpressed with our gameplay skills. Yeah. So, so we can use the. Uh... Why does her butt change in curvature <laughs> when she crunches? <laughs> now it's just two hams. <laughs> Did she go shopping before this? I got to buy some groceries before I go kill this man. <laughs> Yeah. If I, w if I warm the ham up a bit before I cook it, I will reduce total cooking time. <laughs> Dang. Oh wow, he shot. got shot in the head and all it was is out. Yep. What the? Wait, did you choose to use the health kit there? Or... Yeah, yeah, I decided I might as well show off a... Ow! <laughs> yep. A pointless mechanic? Yep. Yeah, just... Show off actively using a health kit. And there we go, boss fight over. Oh, Ta da! Make sure you pick up the book. Okay. We need it to summon Dagon. I mean, <laughs> get this, get the rest of Batman. Package retrieved. Get me out. No, it's a book. Now. God damn it, lady. Wait, Cody. Omega thirteen is who Here. we're fighting, right? Nineteen. Nine. I don't have time for this. I could have just said yeah. yes. Good. Yeah, I know. Okay, Cody. Send in the extraction team. Is this supposed and to make him look what suspicious? If I said no, Peter. <sighs> well, then you'd have stayed down there until the job was done, however long it took. Honestly, this whole like they're really they're really <laughs> hammering this whole thing home here. Like, oh, here's the corporation. Now kill this trainee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, like, Nick, we're here to rescue you. We're being really subtle about it. <laughs> As expected of Team Batman. 